Hey, good morning, everyone. It's morning for me anyway. Sarasota Tim coming to you. Got a good one for you guys today. I ordered a tarp that I'm going to try to set up as an awning with my elephant poles. They're called green elephant. And I'm gonna, instead of come off the side, I'm gonna actually open the hatch and it's gonna come off the back. I'm gonna have two poles here and two poles in the back and the awning's gonna, it's a 10 by 10 and it's gonna come out just far enough probably to keep me out of the rain and I can put a table back here and do some cooking and sit in a chair uh, for some camping uh, expeditions. So let me uh, get everything set up and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. All right, this is the tarp I bought right here. It's, uh, it's called a Aqua Quest and this is the Defender series, which is their heaviest, most bomb-proof, waterproof tarp they make. So it would not be for anybody that wants to go hiking and backpacking and carrying it around their back. I think it weighs about four pounds, and that's a lot to a hiker. But for car camping, this is perfect. Now this is a 10 by 10 square. Sorry about the noise, I'm next to the freeway here. But I thought it was a nice spot uh, to pick out here with some shade for me here in Florida where it's hot. So this is the first time I've opened it. And uh, the Defender series, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it. It's, uh, it's beautiful. And what I like about it is it has these tie outs I don't know, 17 to 19 of them everywhere. So you can, and it's a square. It's not a rectangle. I understand the square is better for configuring uh, different different things easier. I don't know, something. But it's a camo. Um, has this on the inside. It says square there, SQ. It's got this heavy nylon. I won't read you the stats. It's all on here. You can check them out on uh, online. But the Defender series, supposedly the 10 by 10 is a sweet spot. Let's just fold it out here and see how big it is. I'm curious to how far it's going to come off the back of my uh, truck. And since I really don't need the 10 by 10 square perfect, con perfect configuration, uh, because I'm not doing any ground uh, camping with it or anything like that. It's strictly for car camping as a, sh a shade, a shelter, rainproof. Maybe I should get the rectangular one, return this, and get the uh, one that's, you know, 10 foot wide or seven foot wide, but 13 feet long, so that it'll come out further, you know, from the back of the truck. So this is what I got to decide today, and this is gonna, this is gonna show us. So, let me put it out here. Doesn't matter how I unfold it, because it's 10 by 10, right? I think this is gonna be, let me see. <clears throat> it's not too big, that's for sure. Got ants out here. That worries me. All right, let me show you what I got. It's actually 9.6 by 9.6. They call it a 10 by 10, but I've I've read that. So I put my foot here and just step out three feet. Three, six, nine. So it's not a true 10 feet. So this much. Let me see, how big is the tailgate? See, it's gotta come all the way to here. And that's what, that's a good, that's a good three feet almost that I'm gonna have, you know, over here. I'm supposed to strap down through the rims there too with some guy lines. And I'll try and tie the middle to the rack. And then of course it'll be narrow. Well, I have those poles. I'm actually going to try and keep it completely square and put my uh, my elephant poles. Maybe I can come back further. Let's get this going. Let me uh, get my poles out. I'll show you what they look like. 
Okay, here's the uh, green elephant poles. I've seen these uh, on YouTube where people have talked about, sorry my head's not in the shot. Um, they've had them for years and I bought two, I got two more. So I have four of these now and they're quite amazing. Uh, they're aluminum, so they're very lightweight. And what's great about using them for tents or tarps is they have a nice big footprint here with a rubber thing to keep it from sliding around. And then you just simply unlock them. They slide out and you lock them. I guess that one doesn't move. <clears throat> and then what's really good is on the end here, when you put this up in your tent or tarp, see, that won't poke a hole. But if you have a grommet, you can put that right through the grommet or even a loop, and then you can actually secure it even with your guy line on there in a bowling loop and put this back on. So they expand to, let's see. Let me back up. I can't even reach the top of it. I'm 5'10". I got a lot of ants on the ground over here, I'm worried. So I can get this thing up really high over the truck in the back here so that it might just not even have to be attached to my truck at all. This is getting exciting. All right, let me go to another step. I'll get back to you. Before I get the uh, guy lines hooked to the uh, loops of the tarp that I'm gonna use, take a look at these uh, pegs that I've got. I bought these years ago uh, at Walmart. They're nice and long and they've got a place to hook the line on, and they're steel. And I've got several of them. And then I, uh, I got a guy on YouTube I watch. He taught me about this right here. It's a great way to stow your um, power, um, what's it called? What's, uh, power cord, not power cord, uh, whatever it's called take these apart like this. These are 10 feet. You're supposed to have, he recommends five 10 foot lines um, and five five foot lines. So I cut them all, melted them on the end there. What's this stuff called? 550 power cord? Not power cord. I can't think of it. Anyway, I'm gonna begin with these guy lines here. I've also got some of this cheaper stuff right here. And then I've got this bigger, bigger rope that I use to tie my stuff on the top of the uh, basket rack. Well, this is not e as easy as it looks. This is what I got so far, and I'm not happy with it. It's not bad. Uh, I think that the the 10 foot length, even if I can get this these corners to come up and peg it out, so that I have more. I'll show you more width all the way down. I'm not sure. I still don't need longer tarp you know to come back to come back you know maybe something down around another three feet yeah like 13 foot I was suspect that going over the tailgate and losing that footage that's unusable well you get the tailgate so I guess you are using it uh, so if I sit down in the chair here you know I could I could get this more taut like with two guy lines going out, or I could put actually a center. That's the next uh, position I'm gonna show you, configuration where put a center pole here, and then you tie it out with guy lines from the corners and have an A-frame. And of course, <laughs> this, was, this would not work for any kind of rain because that's a pool waiting to happen. But with one person, the problem is, is holding things it's a lot more difficult then your mind's racking trying to remember 
all the knots you've learned. I've got about 400 knots in my head. <laughs> you only need to use two or three. But this is what I got so far. I'll get some more clips going here. This is going to be a good video. The tarp is awesome. Uh, I don't know if I need longer or bigger. That's definitely 100% waterproof. If I can get this in a slope angle to where I can have headroom and yet it'll it'll drain. I've got those elephant poles way up high. They can come down. So let me see what else I can do here. All right, I think we're getting closer to, up. sorry about that, to some kind of a configuration. This is definitely not a rain configuration. This is a calm, no wind, no rain day. But I do see I have plenty of room coming out from the back of the Forerunner without needing a bigger tarp. This pole here could be a little more taut. Like I say, dual, dual guy lines instead of just the one keeps playing with me. You know, you adjust one and one leans. Like I say, with two people. Well, look at that, guys. Take a picture of that. We're getting closer. But we definitely feel like instead of just sitting out in the middle of nowhere in the desert or wherever you're camping, that just like an awning on a motorhome, you feel like you have a home. You know, you get a table set up out here, barbecue, uh, your camp stove, and some music going. And yes, you might have a little more action going on here, guys. Woo, I'm getting excited now. Okay, I'm glad I bought the second set of uh, green elephant uh, tent poles. They are awesome. And they get high enough to where I can actually get over the gate. As you can see, instead of tapering this in or tying it down to the rims like a lot of videos show, now maybe there could be a guy line going to the rim and then this guy line pulling out. I don't know. I'm still working on it. I've got to get, I'm going to do the, uh, the center pole A-frame now where we put one green elephant in the middle there and then frame it down and tie it out. We'll see what happens with that. But this is pretty cool. Like today, no wind. Let me get underneath the tarp here and have a seat in the chair. There's lots of room. I could even put, oh yes. Oh, I need another, <laughs> I need another green elephant. I need maybe two more of these. Put one right here in the middle. That would, uh, you know what? That would give me a pitch that would uh, deflect the rain, right? Also, you can just drop one side. There's all kinds of things you can do. Plenty of tie outs uh, to do that. So, but I'm sitting here, I'm just looking out and I have myself a little roof over my head. There's my, get back up in there and sleep and grab my stuff and I got stuff on the roof, on the basket I can pull down, put my totes down here, have everything to uh, grab things out of. And I definitely need dual guy lines. Uh, it's, um, is it power cord? I keep thinking it's called 550 power cord. That's not what it's called, is it? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. But I'm very nervous right now trying to build this. People are driving by looking at me, kind of embarrassing. I do like that tarp. I think that if I get it right, I certainly don't need to go longer and even more difficult to set up, you know, as one person. I mean, look, let me back up for you guys. That's, uh, that's plenty big. I've seen them on YouTube where they come way out. They got these uh, slumberjacks. I think they're 13 or 16 feet. They come out. But this is fine. But that thing is totally waterproof. But see how it's flapping? It needs to be a lot more secure. All right, let's keep working on it. Okay. Oh, I am so sorry. We don't edit around here. This is the 
I think there's something in the back that needs to be changed. Definitely has pitch to run rain off. That's the center pole configuration, A-frame. Uh, the part in the back probably won't catch water because it's the, uh, it's the lift back. It's very heavy and hard there. It's not gonna pull up on it. And everything else should obviously slide right off in this configuration. I am discovering as I do this and play around different ideas, even with my knots. So it's definitely a learning curve and I'm gonna get it guys. I'm gonna have fun doing it too. And even look, I've got a little, little walkway right here. And I'm, uh, as you can see, I'm 5'10", plenty of headroom. You know, you get out here. But uh, if I had a, uh, a table right here and you know, the grill, stove i mean it's not gonna be raining all the time but you know if it's not raining you don't even have to put the grill underneath it you can put it right out in the front there just so smoke and stuff doesn't get all over your tarp that's the uh that's that design again it's with one guy line out on these uh elephant poles and i can go lower I can also, I've seen on YouTube where they just tie lines to these and create, you know, pitches or up higher. You know, if you got trees around you, I don't have any here. It's one of the reasons I got the poles uh, for that situation. But when there's trees all around you or shrubbery, even on the ground, you can guy things out to. But again, I'm 99% I'm sure I don't need a bigger tarp than the square 10 by 10 here. And paid $99 for this AquaQuest Defender tarp. Uh, I actually canceled the uh, order on an AquaQuest guide series. It's for backpackers. It's much lighter, uh, also waterproof, but you know, without really being a hiker, as you can tell by my big gut, <laughs> I need to hike. Uh, this is what I want for car camping because I can just load up whatever I want in here on top I'm not worried about weight and this baby is really and it's not you know I was curious as how it was gonna be when I got it it's it's not so like heavy like those military canvas uh, but you can definitely feel that rubber coating there is no water coming through at all you know with this so if you drop those poles and bring these sides down even lower bring these guy lines in you know for like the side rain you can really close yourself in you know for hammock camping or just to stay even drier but to make the largest footprint i did like the four pole set up uh i like it so i gotta figure out another one I've got it tied to the to the rack with some um, bank line. That was just to hold it up in the very beginning to get it up on the top of the truck, just so it would hang there. Got it up there with a clove hitch. But with all these tie outs I got on this tarp, even on the uh, down the ridge line up top here, I believe there there's even two. Uh, one is on the inside here and one on the other side of the ridge line. And these are taped, sealed. There's a whole big sales pitch they give you. Earlier I had the poles in these pockets and I figured out it's better just to put them in the loop and then use a, um, a slip knot to kind of squeeze it on there. That's what I've done right here. It's not going anywhere. All right, guys, sorry for the long clips, but uh, let me get a picture of that one too. And let me come around to the other side here. I like the little, uh, little doorway I've got here. I can just shoot right through, go to the truck, grab something. And I do have 
that other um, uh, strangely oh you know I had to get another clip all I did was go over there from the previous clip you see what I've done all I did was uh, adjust because there's three different uh, sections that the elephant poles go so I just loosen this one and drop that whole piece this this middle this middle piece here down to as low as it goes and that is still high and look at the uh the tautness and uh, the rain runoff and everything i can do the same i can reduce these i think i'll go and do that and get another clip but you can see how i'm closing myself in in the event of inclement weather i mean i still have this height of the uh, hatchback holding this up and you know, take a look I'm all the way I can touch the pole that's how that's how close I am that's how close I am to the uh, to the end here and I still got headroom and all I have to do is just incrementally adjust these up if I want a little more a little more headroom right here to come all the way out so I got infinite adjustments and I'm using the, uh, you got to learn about the taut line hitch right here. You can just slide these up and down. And then with that uh, slippery knot that stays taut on the thing, even when I loosen this up, the string doesn't just fall off and the pole doesn't just fall off the uh, tarp. So I, I will definitely be staying with that situation. But this, uh, this taut line hitch works really well so you just loosen it and then you know you pull this down I gotta have two hands pull this towards you pull pull this towards you away from you and this down you know taut line hitch famous knot so let me go lower those other two poles and see what it looks like all right final uh, configuration for this episode I lowered the poles in the rear and then I got a little bit of uh, slack there in the middle so I guide out a couple more in the middle here to keep everything taut and it's also a lot more wind uh, efficient for the wind so gotta get more of this uh, black guy lines um, power cord I keep calling it power cord I guess that's what it is but uh, these are high visibility but so you can see what I did is I I guide out with a uh, bowline and a taut line hitch straight to the ground just to make that more taut and I went ahead and did both sides I lowered the uh, a-frame front pole everything's very nice and it's over the hatchback so I still have that height in there close to the cab of uh, the back of the truck I mean coming in and out and already I mean you guys have seen it the four legs all the way up high down a little lower and then this the lowest uh, everything I could probably even just come out away from the truck with four legs and and everything this is this is great and like I said on this one part right here all I have to do it's a dump truck behind me is just raise this up and I can come out like my head is already I can touch the pole here I'm almost all the way out and I can get that a little bit higher tarp is nice see my uh, uh, ridge line is not down the center so I have to move this this over more it's not exactly center yet but this was just a little warm-up thanks very much for viewing guys please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video I really appreciate it and as you can tell I'm gearing up Sarasota Tim's about out of here he's going somewhere soon all right, guys, thanks.